So here it is. Quick little test run. 0.3 grams in these. Got four of them. Should yield 1.2. Have one of these AMD 586s. Said to have about 0.27 gold in those. Almost as much as them Intel. I don't know how true it is. But I'm about to bust these up and do them. Regular MMX, believe, is 0.12 grams. These IBM, it's a high yield, um, maybe 0 0.1819. 1 Anyhow, after I break these up, I'll be back. So here it is. Busted up, uh, Pinion Pros and all the other stuff. I break them up real good. Um, I try to hit the silicon die as best as possible. Uh, you know, gold underneath them could get trapped sometimes. I just don't want to have to process these more than once to make sure I extract all the gold. Um, next step, we put them in some uh, hydrochloric acid. I'll be back. So, put about 600 milliliters of uh, hydrochloric acid into the uh, beaker with the CPUs. Um, there's definitely some uh, tungsten underneath the uh, Pentium Pros that causes a pasty yellow-green residue in your solutions when you uh, cook this. I'm going to do it with AR throughout the whole thing. Um, there's also magnetic pins in here that will need to be dissolved fully before uh, this process will be good. Um, so I will be putting additions of nitric here in a minute. I'll be back. Okay, so here we're uh, adding nitric acid into this to create our AR working with one hand each pipette full is three milliliters so we'll put about let's say four to five pipettes to start once this gets warm enough the reaction will begin can't really work with two hands or one hand on this. I just picked up this uh, corning ware with this uh, fryer from an estate sale, three bucks. But I'll be back once this gets going. So the reaction is now hot enough. To uh, make a very nice AR solution. Watch glass always in place. Sizzling away now. Since pausing, I added a total of 20 mils to 600 mils of HCl. 20 mils of nitric. And I'll let this thing cook away for a while. It's not hot to the touch. Plate's hot, but I uh, I'll go ahead and make sure that that red light don't go back on. If it does, I'll turn it down. I'll be back.